I've always been attracted to shooting with lightweight cameras because as an adventure photographer, I need to be able to have two or three cameras that I can carry in a backpack or a hip pack and ski with and keep up with the athletes that I'm accompanying. My rigs of choice for this film were the 5D Mark II and the 1D Mark IV, and about five or six lenses that really did all the heavy lifting, and, and I used those to try to create the most dramatic cinematography possible while keeping it to a minimalist level. When we're outdoors, I'm often trying to use either very wide lenses that really make us feel like we can walk into the scene, or I'll use a 90 millimeter tilt shift and really throw out the field of focus so that our eye really comes to focus on Heath and the mental game that he has going on inside. The one consistent thing that I did to try to make the feel be very cinematic was to use a very shallow depth of field. So I'm always trying to shoot at F2.8 or F1.2 if I can. So I use six stop or nine stop neutral density filters depending on you know, what the midday light was doing uh, to, to be able to shoot it you know, at 1 60th of a second. So this is an example of how you know, it will block the light and you can see a little bit of that. And that's the main key, it's just the first thing that you should get you know, if you're looking to get a dramatic blurry depth of field. Because the 15 and also the 14 millimeter lens have curved glass in front, you can't put a neutral density filter in the front. But these lenses accept a gel filter that slips in the back. We use the 24 millimeter and the 90 millimeter tilt shift lens for this film. The tilt mechanism allows to keep a very specific plane of focus on Heath and drop everything else out of focus. Time was critical when shooting this documentary and Canon's small and powerful HD DSLR camera bodies allowed us to put cameras in multiple positions and make sure that we got the action in one take. On race day, Heath races once or twice. There's no redos. We would have one camera set up to capture him at the start gate, another one with a wide angle lens right by a race gate, and another one waiting for him at the finish line. The gym scene with Heath was particularly important to have multiple camera angles as well uh, because it was a one hour take and he was doing a real workout you know, with a trainer who had limited time. Sometimes Kent Harvey would be lying on the ground with the camera right at Heath's feet. I'd be covering something closer to his face and Draper White would be covering 90 degree angle, maybe capturing a little wider field of view. The gym scene was for me the, the signature opportunity to show all the dedication and the hard work and the sweat and the blood and the tears that Heath was putting into his Paralympic training. It was all condensed into this one spot in a way you just couldn't see on the ski slopes. We brought very shallow depth of field lenses, the 24 millimeter F1.4, the 50 millimeter F1.2 and the 85 millimeter F1.2. And then we added two tilt shifts, the 24 millimeter tilt shift and the 90. All of these allowed us to really throw the background way out of focus because it's a gym, working gym at you know, 5 p.m. There's a fair number of people in the gym. We wanted the energy and all the focus to be on heat. It can be incredibly tricky to work with specialty lenses. The ultra wide lenses can pick up extraneous detail that you don't always want in the edges of your frame. And the very shallow depth of field lenses are really hard to hold focus. We didn't always get it. But these lenses bring a really unique vantage to the world that's so different than our everyday eye. And these lenses can bring a really special feel to a film.